right, take 25 and a bottle of tequila later. Although I'm not really sure why it's taken me this many takes since there's so much to hate about you. Uh, starting with just, you know, at the off the top of my mind, uh, the fact you can't eat red sauce anymore. Fuck you for that. I want eggplant parm. I want lasagna. And you're really throwing a damper in my week and my life. So fuck you. Also, fuck you for being so pathetic in high school. Actually, it was college, so double pathetic. Fuck you for being so pathetic that you couldn't last 10 minutes at your job at Anthropology. That you texted me to call you and pretend that there was a family emergency so that you could leave. Which I did. And you know what? You never even said thank you to me for that. And that's something else I fucking hate about you. You never say thank thank you to people. You just expect everyone to do shit for you. It's pathetic. Uh, what else do I hate about you? Oh yeah, fuck you for sleeping until 4 p.m. all the time. Uh, that's pathetic. And also, fuck you for having the worst morning breath of anyone I ever know. Uh, also, you've slept with so many guys, you're starting to look like one. Boom. Roasted. Happy birthday, loser. Elena Demento, Elena, Lena, Will, Will Schmitty, Michaela Schmidt, E.D., Ed, you suck. You suck for repeatedly banging Kalen without ever having his number. You suck for having fewer conversations with him than sexual encounters. You suck for having sex in the same apartment as Hank. You suck for smelling your armpit when you sleep. You suck for sleeping with me in my room every weekend night for a year, yet only sleeping out when you got laid. Me sleeping alone often. Fuck, I just roasted myself. Well, you suck for having VAP cards to West End Johnny's. We all suck for thinking that was cool. Amanda sucks for losing them. Fuck you, Amanda. You suck for having terrible handwriting, yet always having a pen in your hand now. You suck for smoking more often than you shit. Shitting all the time. You suck for wearing white pants more often than Bob. But seriously, you rock. I love you. I miss you and can't wait to see you next. Hope you have a great birthday. Enjoy your 28 lies from Katie, 28 punches from Amanda, 28 head nods from Hoof, 28 unanswered texts to Jess and Pam, and 27 kites. Pour the last one out for me. Happy birthday, babe. What's up, you fucking cunt? It's your birthday, so it's only right to celebrate how much of a joke that I think you are. First off, you played with American Girl dolls until you were well into your teenage years. Then around 15 or 16, you founded your love for cock and switched up your hobby to sucking dick with braces and then drinking out of the beer ball that we were all sharing. Seriously though, you've sucked so much dick that you barely have an esophagus left. I mean, you borderline banged more dudes in high school than I have in my entire adult career. Also, you're so soft that you can't even handle a hangover without acting like it was a near-death experience. Grow up, really. Your only real redeeming characteristic is that you drink tequila right now. That's literally the only thing that I like about you. Another thing, what's this bullshit with you not being able to eat certain foods? I mean, what are you, 90? Lock it up. And why do you sleep so late? Like, wake the fuck up. I want to go to the fucking beach, dude. To wrap things up, you're a joke because you peaked in high school. You're a joke because you have constant COB. You're a joke because you go to the ER for a hangover. You're a joke because you can't enjoy food anymore. You're a joke because all you do is sleep, but most of all, you're a joke because you've stayed friends with me for this long. Happy fucking birthday, dude. I fucking love you. Hi, Elena. So I thought about this a lot, and I could really only think of two things that I absolutely hate about you. Um, first being the way your burp smell. They smell fucking disgusting, and every time you burp, I literally want to run into another room 10 feet away from you because they make me want to vomit. Uh, second being, and I thought about this a few times before, is how factually and surely you state facts that you think are true 
and with such confidence when they are absolutely not true at all. So one example of this that came to mind was when you told me without certainty in your heart that SPF 30 meant you could leave it on for 30 minutes before you had to reapply it. Same thing with SPF 40 means 40 minutes before you would reapply and so on with 50, 60, and it correlates to the number of minutes. And I would say something like, that's not true. And you'd say, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. And you just fucking know because you're that confident and you're a bossy bitch like that. And you think that your word is truth. But, you know, when I'm thinking about it, that is another thing that I, while I hated about it, hated about you, I absolutely love it about you at the same time because when I need an answer or I need assurance from you, you're the first person to tell me what's up and it makes me feel that much better. So if I say, Elena, my back is cold and my big toe is sore, what do you think is wrong with me? And you say, oh, I think that's a symptom of the bird flu. And I just feel better because you just seem to know it all. So you're a know-it-all, your burp smell, but the things I love about you are so much more than the things I hate about you. So I hope you have an amazing birthday. I miss you, wish I could be there with you, but I know you're gonna have a blast in Boston. Love you so much, bye. So, 28 big ones. I'm gonna do my best Elena impression right now. See that? The epitome of expressionless and not listening. You never listen. And if you are listening, you're pretending that you're not listening when you actually hear everything. Hi, I'm Elena and I have selective hearing. Yeah. That's bullshit, because you're supposed to be my therapist. Other things I hate about you. You like to bend the truth. Or you like to pretend that you don't know what's going on when you really do. You also like to pretend that you're more mature or more emotionally stable than you are. When we all know you're losing your shit down here and in here. You can't fool me. Not after 28 years. You can't anymore. But hey, we make it through. We made it through May this year. May the force be with you. What else do I not like about you? You don't get lit enough. not cool. I wish you'd smoke more weed. You were a lot cooler in high school. Mm, maybe even middle school. And then you slowly just started going downhill. Just lower and lower and lower. Your burps smell. Um, things I love about you. You sound like a man, you act like a man, and sometimes you even look like a man. But those are, those are your redeeming qualities. I think Amanda would agree with me. But anyway, happy birthday. Um, proud to see that you've made it to 28 and uh, you know, you still are looking better in a bikini than me. But you know, we still have the rest of our lives. Still waiting for you to blow up at any moment. All right. Love you. What do I hate most about Elena? Where to start? Um, well, only menopausal women in Elena drink over two gallons of water every day. I mean, who sits at their desk every day with a 64-ounce Yeti? Not to mention all the water you're wasting when flushing the toilet since you have to pee every 20 minutes. Um, only 13 year old middle school boys in Elena wear sneakers absolutely everywhere, but I guess it doesn't matter what you wear when you recently told me every boyfriend I've ever had would lick my feet. I'm not sure if Sam can confirm that, but we'll see if how that goes. Um, it's pretty much your loss of not being able to eat red sauce, but that's kind of my gain because that's less of Jane's food that I need to share. Uh, you burp more than any man or animal I know. Um, and speaking of men, Fabio would like his hair back. 
Uh, sadly, with all these flaws, you'll still always be the favorite. I love you and happy birthday. Say happy what? Birthday. Say birthday. Birthday. Say Titi Ina. Mm. Say Titi. Titi. Give her a moi. Uh. Give her a moi. Mm -hmm. Give her another moi. Mm -hmm. So what do I hate about Elena? I've been dying to answer that question for my whole life now. I have a lot of things, but some of them are. I hate when you burp. I fucking hate when you burp so much. It's so disgusting. I hate, I hate that you shed. It's so much, you shed so much like a dog. It's all over everything. Um, I, I think that's all I can come up with for now, but I'm sure there's a lot of shit. I'll tell you to your face when I see you, I guess. But for now, I have tried to take this video so many times and you know how unphotogenic I am, so I must really love you. Happy birthday, hope it's a great one. Elena D, happy birthday, baby girl. Thought it was only fitting that uh, given all the love that you shared in my birthday video a couple days ago, that I would get to do the exact opposite for you today. So let's talk about a few things that I just can't stand about you. Number one, your goddamn birthday blanket. Not that I'm criticizing it, I think it's awesome. But every time I see it, I just feel a surge of jealousy that I don't have one myself. And it's really started to uh, have a negative effect on my relationship with my parents. I'm pretty pissed at them for not saving that, so fuck you for that. Number two, hangovers. I am totally convinced that in a large way, you have contributed to my hangover symptoms. One, in living together, Hangovers really weren't all that bad to have because it resulted in, what, 14 hours of lost on the couch, maybe three or Uber Eats meals. Kind of tight. I don't get that anymore, but I still have the association, and I think my body develops hangovers because it's, it's craving that. So kind of fuck you for that, too. Number three is the pulse check. You introduced me to the pulse check. I can't stop pulse checking now. I do it when I'm hungover. do it when I'm feeling a little bit weird. I know I got that one from you look like a fucking weirdo with Tourette's. It's all your fault, so fuck you for that. Number four, the complete and utter lack of creativity that you have when it comes to fabricating a search history. Cars and sports? Cars and sports? Who the fuck searches cars and sports? We could have been kicked out of the filling station mug club forever, and that would have been on you. Get better. Anyway, this was actually really hard to think through, and I don't really hate you on any of these things. I love you, and I miss the shit out of you. I hope you're having the best birthday. Can't wait to see you at some point soon. Love you, babe. Lena Demento, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Um, so many different ideas, and, and you know, could have been insanely mean, but I feel like I'll, I'll just keep it uh, pretty easy for right now. So um, an idea I came up with was to basically pull um, all of your closest friends and family and ask them what are some character traits uh, that that make up Elena um, that you think embody Elena so um, kind of went through the different results and compiled a, a basically a top 10 list um, and I'm gonna go through them and see if uh, if I actually agree with them so you'll notice that I actually made this list um, you'll see Elena D's personality traits um, so I'm going to start with the first one. Um, cruel, most definitely. Um, arrogant, <laughs> 100%. A patronizing, um, one of the worst I've ever seen. Uh, defensive, we'll say she's not defensive, but that's being defensive. Um, callous, extremely, almost as callous as my feet. Um, bitchy, biggest cunt of all time. Um, lazy, hasn't woken up before 1 p.m. on the weekend um, in 15 years. Um, thoughtless, <laughs> yes, um, aloof, um, more than hoof, um, and then inconsiderate, uh, yeah, <laughs> tricked ya, yeah, so I would say I agree with everyone's findings, um, that you are lazy, terrible, super mean, defensive, always physically ill, whore, whatever, you know. All the, all the best um, traits that basically make, make up the best people. But um, 
like I said, I, I, I would keep it short and sweet, but, um, but kidding aside, hope you have a great birthday. I uh, wish I could be there in Hull and, um, and love you and, and hope to see you soon. And you think you're a celebrity. Don't lie. You think everyone's always looking at you because they are. And probably because I stared at you the majority of my childhood blowing up your ego. So that's my own fault. And you're already hot and then you act even hotter. So fucking annoying. Like what were those photos of you in your like nude photographs on Instagram? Like we all know you're hot, Elena. You don't need to post a picture of your ass on Instagram. Okay. Number one, I hate you for making me an alcoholic. Number two, I hate you for making me drive your ass to high school. And we were late pretty much every morning because you were either sleeping in, which is nothing new, nothing's changed, uh, or you were demanding a toaster strudel from Jean. What else do I hate about you? You tattletailed on me when we were seven years old, when I told you that the mailman was a kidnapper and that we needed to get low physically so they wouldn't see us and he wouldn't kidnap us. And you ratted on me to your mom. Ooh, Betsy's crazy. Oh, she doesn't know what she's talking about. The mailman is a kidnapper. Sorry for trying to save your life, you little pussy. What else do I hate about you? Uh -huh. I hate you for your attempt at winking. You look like you're physically ill, like you're having a stroke. I hate when you try to sing high notes and you actually can't form sound. Nothing comes out, simply air. Your voice is too low, it just doesn't go there. Just take the, take the alto and, and accept it. Um, you've caused me to be a hypochondriac. Um, I've never met someone who thinks that a headache is a, um, fatal illness more than you. I hate that you have caused me to get really, really fat because we would go to McDonald's or Taco Bell and stuff our faces and go straight to my ass and for you it would pop out little six pack muscles because you're a little skinny bitch so I hate you for that um what else do I hate about you I hate you for following me to Bentley uh obsessed with me much but then you went to school and you got smarter than me and you transferred so I guess that's that's not a good thing for me um, other things I hate about you, you have an insane amount of sports knowledge. You obviously majored in sports at Miami. You're one of the most unathletic people I've ever met in my life. I mean, long limbs destined for success. No coordination. You just you couldn't make it work. You were terrible. You brought the team down at CYO basketball and I'll never forgive you for that. I hate you for that. Last but not least, I'm totally joking on all of this. Say nice things at my wedding. For real though, you are my sister that I never had and I love you to death. Happy birthday. So it's Elena's birthday, who gives a shit, but Katie Ward reached out and asked me to record a video roasting her. So that's what I'm doing. Um, to be honest, when I think about things that I hate about Elena, it's most things we work together. So I tell her these things on a daily basis and usually it comes up contextually uh, in conversation. She says some dumbass shit and then I tell her that that's stupid. And then I tell her how I feel about it because of it. And we move on. Um, but three things come to mind. Number one is I hate when she comes in and she hasn't had her fucking coffee yet and her bagel or whatever the hell she eats for breakfast. She doesn't have something prior, especially coffee. She's an, the absolute worst human being to be around on earth. Like I remember one time recently, a couple weeks ago, she had her headphones in and she came into the office and I like said something to her, not even work related. And 
or she, no, she knocked something over on her desk into the trash can and I thought it was funny and so I laughed. And she looked up at me and was like, what the fuck do you think is so funny? And I was like, yo, you need to chill and go get some coffee right now. So I hate that about her. Um, I hate when, I wrote some things down. I hate when she calls me a retard and gets under my skin. It really pisses me off. But luckily, I, I'm, I'm nice and I just hit it right back. I hit it right back. So I hate when she does that shit, but it gives me an opportunity to give it back to her. So I kind of like it at the same time. And lastly, I hate when she's right, which is usually never, but in the, on the occasion, the rare occasion that she is right, really fucking drives me crazy because I like to be right. I know she does too. So that's that. Um, yeah, I know she's going back east tonight and I hope she gets hit by a bus on the way. Bye. Happy birthday, Lena. Just listening to your favorite artist. Happy birthday. Say happy birthday, TT. Oh my God. Do you have the exact same reaction as TT to Taylor Swift? What about TT? Um, um, but what about TT? It's her birthday! Happy birthday, TT. I think he likes it. So just wanted to uh, thank you for stealing my birthday thunder. It will always be your birthday first and everyone will always remind me. Love you. Happy birthday. Well, we're here to roast you right now. You're going to get so roasted. All right, Katie, go. Lil, you're killing it. That, that's not how you roast somebody. It's not. Boom, roasted. All right, no. no. It's like, Lil, like, remember that time that I go to the hospital to have like surgery on my butt and you rushed over here and took care of our kid like the whole night? Like, you didn't have anything better to do that night? Like, boom, roasted. Wait, no. See, like, then you're just roasting yourself. How am I roasting myself? I don't <laughs> I don't have a cousin with butt problems. Okay, she does. That, that's, that's, no, you're making fun of your, you, no, you're making fun of yourself, not Lil. Like cookies. <sighs> no, she, why does she not like oatmeal raisin happy, cookies? Happy you suck so bad that you don't even like oatmeal happy, raisin cookies. Boom. And that's kind of like net benefit for me because then there's like more oatmeal raisin cookies happy for me to eat. So. Yeah. We got you so bad. Boom. Roasted. Say <laughs> boom roasted. Boom. I tried to do my best. Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy, come in here. We're doing the toast for Elena. We have to do the toast. Jane, it's a roast. We got to do a roast for Elena. No, we got to say all the things we love about her for her birthday. That's what we do. We always used to do this. Me and my girlfriends, we always do this for each other. It's called a tribute. We do the roast, the toast. Toast, Jimmy, not roast. No, it's roast. We say all the things that bother us about Elena. For example, she's super sleepy. She always sleeps so late. It's probably because she's still nursing her little hangovers because she's my little cokehead of a daughter. Hey, Jimmy, don't say that about our Lil. Don't say it about Lil. You're going to tell everybody. All the mothers are going to know. It's going to be... Uh, Br Brenda's going to know. And Kathy Nally's going to know. And we don't want that. We don't want everyone to think that about our Lil. Ugh. It doesn't matter what everybody thinks. We got to do the... We're doing the roast. So I said... She's sleepy. She's not a warrior like me. 
She can't eat your tomato sauce because she can't have it anymore. Her acid reflux. She burps all the time. It's disgusting. Oh, that's true. That's true. Elena, you haven't had my tomato sauce. You haven't had the meatballs. You haven't had the eggplant parmesan. You, you, you're burping all the time. Your breath is terrible. It's You need to have Zantac. Something, Zantac doesn't even do it for you. So it's Zantac. That, is that good, Jimmy? Is that we're doing it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now we're doing it. We talked about the Zantac. We're talking about the sleep. What else do we got? Uh, wait, have we said the thing about her her tattoo? Her, her one love, one heart. What? Which one is it? She's not even a Bob Marley fan. Elena, you don't even listen to Bob Marley. I know you went to Jamaica with your friends, but you don't even listen to Bob Marley. You really should listen to more Bob Marley, Lil, if you're going to have the tattoo. I mean, if you're going to have the tattoo, throw on a Bob Marley song. Every, throw on Stir It Up every once in a while. That Stir It Up's a good one. When we were in Brooklyn, Jim, and we used to always listen to that. We would smoke. We would smoke the weed. Jimmy, you smoke the weed. You know about the weed. I smoked it. Lil, you smoke too much weed. You, know, you smoke weed, but that's good. That's not a bad thing. All right, I'm running out of stuff. Uh, honestly, Elena... Happy birthday. Can't wait to see you this weekend. We're going to have a blast. I love you. And I couldn't say this one in good conscience in the role of your parents. You are the Barney Stinson and Wilt Chamberlain of our friend group. And you still, your age is still not half of the amount of people that you've slept with. So that's big ups. Good for you. Dear Diary, today is Elena Demento's birthday. Yeah. That stupid fat bitch that I always talk about, that one. Anywho, I have to roast her today. So this is going to be the intent of this video. Frankly, Elena, I didn't want to have to have this conversation with you over a video compilation for your birthday, but you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. We're having an intervention. An intertransgendervention because the jig is up, Elena. We all know you're a dude. That Adam's apple, that deep voice, your sex drive. The jig is up. Can you just admit it to everyone now that you're 28 years old, you're a real man now? You could go ahead and be honest and more transparent with us. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Also, I'm really freaking pissed and resentful at the fact that you have spent nearly your entire life playing Mario Kart and practicing Princess Peach, how to dodge all those banana peels, how to curve all those windy roads, yet you still have the audacity to on your way home from a Bruins game, see a cone in the middle of the road and hit it and proceed to get a DUI. What the fuck is up with that? You absolutely know better than that. Disappointed in you. Um, also, you're lanky, have no tits, take naps all the time. Oh shit, fuck, me too, lol. Anyways, I love you so much, Lena. Happy 28th birthday. I wish I was there to celebrate with you. I love you so, 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 so much. You're such a good friend. And um, fucking crush it, bruh. Bye. You sing. Sing the song. Happy birthday. Happy Not to Ellie, to Ani. <laughs> Annie. Say happy birthday, Annie. Happy birthday, Annie. Lance, happy birthday, kid. So, uh, when Katie told me about this video, I was like, what mean, rude things can I say about you? So I started to scan, you know, the 28 years of memories that I have with you. And I couldn't, I couldn't think of a single thing. So, you know, let's keep it short and sweet. Happy birthday. I love you. I think you're super smart. I think you're going places, clearly. And uh, I think you always make great decisions.